Hello, lovely soul. It is great to see you back on the mat. Welcome or welcome back to Yoga with Paige and welcome to your very, very quick and very gentle morning stretch. This practice is all seated, so it is great for those days where we're kind of waking up more gently or maybe we don't have a mat to practice with. So you don't need a yoga mat for this practice. Um, I do want to say a quick thank you to our sponsor for this video, Gym Mat with an X. If you want an extra large playing space for you and your practice, I do recommend this company. You can find a discount link in the description below to get a mat like this for your practice. And whenever you are ready, we start today in a nice, easy seat. Beginning with their feet crossed at the ankles, sitting up nice and tall. Take a moment to settle in to find your breath. Taking a big breath in, filling the lungs, and then exhale, let it all out. Find one more breath, greeting this day. And gently coming into a few hip circles, waking up the hips, waking up the joints, maybe saying hello to the lower back as well. Just finding nice, easy movements here, still grounding down with the sit bones. Maybe taking a little bit of the upper back with you, kind of finding some little rib rolls, working through the spine. Beautiful. Reversing your direction, making sure you find both ways and then meeting back in a nice neutral spine. Sitting up nice and tall. Inhale, find fingertips to the shoulders, reaching the elbows up and out to the side. So really drawing the shoulder blades together, sending your chest up and forward. Big breath in, inhale. And on your exhale, we twist very slowly, very gently to the left. So really drawing your navel in, feeling this twist happening from the spine, still reaching the shoulder blades together. Inhale back to center. And exhale, twist to the right. Beautiful. Making these movements slow. Taking about two more twists on each side. Moving with the breath. Noticing any parts of your body or your mind that are beginning to wake up here. Maybe we can feel some heat in the shoulders. All right, and meeting back in a neutral spine, release the fingertips down to the knees. Tuck the left leg underneath and pick up the right knee, crossing the foot over the knee, planting it down if we can. Take a moment to settle in here. We might still be a little tight, so just move with what you can. Try to reach the knee into the chest as you lift up, inhale. And we can stay here or we can find another slight twist over our right shoulder, really drawing that knee into the chest, grounding down through the feet. And on your last breath, coming back to center, making your way into cow face pose. So if you need a little extra hip opening here, kind of cradle the right shin into the chest, taking a breath or two, maybe finding a rock, before slowly moving into your version of this hip opener. We can lie down on our backs and take it that way if this is not accessible to you. But trying to stack knees, reaching the feet out, find your comfortable position. 
taking hands to the mat, to the floor, fingertips to feet, and just allowing yourself to open up as you breathe. Perhaps folding forward for these last two breaths. And carefully coming up, slowly unraveling yourself, crossing the right shin now down on the mat and taking the left over. Hug the knee in, big breath. Meeting yourself where you're at. Maybe this is where you stay today. Listening to your body. Using your breath as a tool to release and open up. I definitely feel more tight on this side. Noticing any differences. And coming into your cow face pose, maybe taking your cradle leg, if you did on the other side. And lovingly cross the legs, stacking the knees, settle in. And be with the breath. Let it bring you into the present. Don't worry about whatever it is that is coming up for you later today. You haven't arrived there yet. Roll the shoulders back, reach up through the crown and take two more deep, natural breaths. Coming back up, uncross the legs and gently come onto the knees. Feet are tucked right under the hips, kind of sitting on the heels. Inhale, lift up, lift the chest. And finding a little side stretch, reaching the right arm overhead as the left fingertips can find the opposite knee, kind of intensifying this side stretch. Or we can let the left fingertips come to the mat. Just reaching with the right hand overhead. Opening up through the side body. And releasing, finding the other side, whatever variation you chose to move through today. Beautiful. Coming back up, sitting on the heels, interlacing hands behind the lower back and energetically pulling them down through the mat, through to the core of the earth as you lift the chest skyward. Breathing into the heart center, perhaps tilting your head back, really reaching the hands down towards the feet. One last breath. And on your next exhale, let the belly fold over the thighs as you take the hands overhead. Maybe planting the forehead down on the mat, lifting the hips, coming into a little rabbit pose. We can also stay with our hips seated and focus on opening up through the shoulders. Maybe take a little side to side movement.
and gently coming back up and releasing whenever you are finished. Inhale, last breath, reach up, palms meet, gaze up, and exhale, Andali Mudra, hands at heart center. With my last breath here, I thank you so much for joining me today in this quick little practice. A way to kind of invigorate your body as well as wake up your mind and get your day ready to rock and roll. So I would love to know how this felt for you. And I look forward to the next time we practice together.